got something special I want you to do with this guy. You might be sick of it by now. We can always play notes in a different spot, but that's what I want you to do. Play these two bars. Just these two. See how fast you can get them. So, once you can get these up, like to the 250 goal, then we'll add a bar back in. So let's say you get that to the 250, then try that. And then, once you get that to the 250, try the whole thing. So I think just working on these two would be a good thing. And the reason why these two is because you'll have both finger combinations going like first, second, fourth, and then first, third, and fourth. So, yeah, just work on just those two bars, see where you can get with that. And you, know, you can go between working on this one first and uh, this one first as well. So let's uh, let's see here. All right, so you know how the other one's supposed to go. So let's demo this. So six beats, six four time signature. Forgot to turn this off. There we go. All right, so change a little setting real quick. Boom. Good. Come on. Oh my god. Alright. So even though it's 6-4, I'm still going to just count off. 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Twenty. One, two, three, four. One sixty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two hundred. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two twenty five. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two fifty. One, two, one, two, three, four. All right. Number two. So it's not surprising if you can't get this as fast as the last thing you worked on. The reason why is because of the string change. So changing strings while picking fast is more challenging than just staying on one string. At least for the right hand it is. Alright, 60 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. One, twenty. One, two, three, four. Sixty. One, two, one, two, three, four. One eighty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two hundred. One, two, one, two, three, four. And two twenty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Right, working on your theory. So we started working on the key of C. But you also have the key of G, key of F. Remember the key of G has an F sharp. Key of F has a B flat. So you can, when you're building your six add nines, you can start with any sixth chord that you remember, or you can start with any add nine that you remember, and just add in the extra interval. So, remember, you got a couple ways of going about this. When you add in the sixth interval, you can either raise the fifth interval up, raise one of the fifth intervals in the chord shape up. You can also take the octave of the root note and lower that down. Because, and that's kind of uh, going to make some stuff tricky because adding the nine, the easy way to do that is to take the octave of the root note and raise it up a whole step and a half step if it's a flat nine. But, 
sometimes we may have taken the octave of the root note and lowered it to the sixth or the flat six. So there's a bit of creativity that needs to happen here. So if you have questions with it, if you get stuck, let me know. And I'll see you next week.